Hey, how's it going everybody? All right, so in today's video, we're gonna do be doing an unboxing as well as a little uh, setup. Now, this isn't gonna be really a guide, but it's gonna be more kind of like how I'm gonna be using uh, this particular product in my setup. Now, nonetheless, uh, this product is this right here. So this is the Ugreen KVM. Now, what this is gonna allow me to do is to go ahead and connect one of my monitors and actually be able to toggle between my main workstation and possibly another, let's say, laptop or another device that requires, you know, the monitor. And I could go ahead and toggle between them without needing to actually change out, you know, or swap uh, basically the HDMI. So right now, kind of like how I have it is it, you know, the HDMI is connected directly to the actual computer. But then I also have an, a, a DVI, I'm sorry, a display port that will basically go to another uh, external device whenever I want to go ahead and capture certain, you know, certain things or if I'm doing a tutorial. So I want to have this go right ahead and just be available so I can toggle between, you know, of course, my main workstation and let's just say a laptop. Now, this is going to prevent me from actually having to go in the back of the monitor and unplug, you know, one HDMI cable and then having to plug in another one. So nonetheless, let me go right ahead and kind of show you a little bit of uh, this product and then we'll go right ahead and do the unbox. As you can see, basically, we this is uh, the front of the box. So this is compatible to 4K 60 Hertz. Um, luckily for me, I'm not planning on running anything 4K in this setup, uh, but just so you know, it's like this is available uh, and is compatible to run at 4K. Now, this will have three USB type A ports as well as uh, one USB type C. So this would be for keyboard, mouse, printer, and more. So basically whatever you need to connect, you can go ahead and do so. This is a five gig uh, USB uh, port connection. Of course, this does have a power supply brick, so you could go ahead and connect it directly to your outlet. And we also have a two switch mode. So there's gonna be a little switch button that you can go ahead and basically click to go from one workstation or, or workstation number one to workstation number two. Alrighty, so here is a shot of the back of the box. So I'm not gonna go through kind of like the specifications on, you know, the output, uh, input, resolution, all that. I'll just go right ahead and basically leave this here. So if you wanna go right ahead and pause the video, you could go right ahead and pause it and read off what this device uh, has. Okay, all right, so let's go right ahead and uh, open this puppy up. So the first thing we see uh, once we open the box is actually the KVM itself. So I was actually thinking that, that this was gonna be a little bit longer, but no, it, it's not, it's it's uh, compact. So, I mean, by all means, you know, it's like, I'll go right ahead and take it. Looking a little bit closer, so we do have that one USB uh, for um, that we can plug into, uh, the of course the USB type C, and then here's the controller. We also have, of course, the ports for your mouse and keyboard. We have the power port right here. And of course, for PC2 input, we have the HDMI and the USB type A. As well as you also see PC1 input, so that's gonna be also there. And then right here, we do have the HDMI output. So this is gonna be basically going to your monitor. One last thing, of course, is gonna be from the looks of it, there's a little status light, so you can actually click on this and it'll, it'll go right ahead and show you if it's gonna be in channel one or channel two for the PCs. Let's see, what else What else are we gonna get? So, got a bunch of goodies, which I'm, I'm happy. It's like, I thought I wasn't gonna, I was gonna need some extra HDMIs, but it looks like it comes with them. But we shall see. So first thing, is going to be the actual controller. So this will go ahead and connect right here. Just connects and then you could go ahead and basically kind of hide this box if needed and then just have this available on top of the desk. And that's probably what I'll, what I'll do. Um, most likely I'll probably mount it below my desk later on once I find some adhesive to go ahead and put on this. So nonetheless, that is the controller itself. Of course, we have the power brick right here, so nothing too special. So we do have that there. 
So here we have, of course, the USB cable. So this is probably going to be going from the PC to the actual KVM, uh, which would be just right here. So it'd be either in, uh, PC1 or PC2. So that's going to be the first cable. I presume there's going to be another cable and it's probably going to be this one right here. And that is correct. So that is for the second PC. And of course, uh, I don't I don't really think I need to unbox this or basically unwrap these. So these are HDMI cables. Just wanted to unwrap them just so you can see. So there they are here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be long enough. So luckily for me, I do have some other cables right here. So we'll we'll see as like I'm going to see if uh, if maybe they're long enough. If not, I'll go ahead and switch them out to these. And if both of them aren't long enough, then I'll, I'll have to find a different solution. But I, I think I do have some spare HDMI cables that are a little bit longer. And last but not least, of course, user instructions and of course, uh, some manual right here for the actual KVM. Now that I have everything unboxed, let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, unfortunately, with my current setup, uh, I, I do not have a mobile kind of like a little camera to go ahead and show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through it. So this is my current setup right here. So I have, of course, the bottom monitor right here and then the top one. So what I'm going to be planning is actually to configure everything on the top monitor. So I could go ahead and toggle between, like I said, my main computer to let's just say a laptop. Now, I do have a laptop right here. So we're going to go ahead and basically set it up. So we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to connect everything and then we'll go ahead and connect to it. And then I'll go ahead and toggle between the both of them. And I want to see exactly if it actually does work. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and start, you know, connecting everything, routing everything kind of like how I want it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, everybody. So I went right ahead and kind of connected everything. I didn't hide everything because I want to kind of show you what, how I connected everything. Okay, so first things first, let's just do the simple one. This just connects, that's all it does. It just connects, you have enough slack to kind of like, you know, if you're gonna hide it uh, underneath your desk, you go ahead and do so. Now, this one right here, which is gonna be basically the, um, the output, is gonna be going directly to your monitor or TV or projector, or whatever you're gonna be using to, to actually view everything. Now, over here, you can actually see that there is already kind of like a little, of course, the, the keyboard and mouse, you know, if, so if you do have a keyboard and mouse, you can go ahead and use that. Uh, for me, it's like I, I have this wireless kind of like this little combo mouse that it's, you know, a keyboard and a touchpad as well. Um, I think for right now, it's like I might, I might not use this here because how I'm envisioning on, on using this is still be able to control my main workstation while technically capturing, um, you know, certain things on the other cable that's going to be going through here. And, and the way I'm doing that is I'm actually using an Elgato capture card. But if you're just looking, you know, just to be like, hey, I just need a KVM to connect two computers into one monitor, I'll go ahead and show you what, what to do. So. That's kind of like my setup, but now let's go back over here to the back. So this right here, or I should say these right here, these two. So this is going to be connected uh, to your actual main workstation. So this is connected to a USB on my main workstation. And this is actually going to be connected to the actual graphics card for your workstation or whatever video input you have. So that's going to be technically labeled as one. So that, that's your number one. And then number two, this is just going to be, think about it, this cable is going to go directly to, let's just say, a laptop. So this cable would be going to the secondary one. Like I said, my um, setup is a little bit different, but just remember, this cable right here, this one right here, this HDMI, is just going to go directly to the other computer. So I know I know the cables look different, but just FYI, it just goes directly to it. Same thing with the, with the, with the USB uh, Type-A. This one just basically goes directly here. So that's exactly how it's going, uh, you know, just just like that. Now, of course, uh, the power. So uh, I have that connected. One thing I will tell you is the L got the, the cables that came with this uh, Ugreen. 
they weren't long enough. I think they were a little bit, a little bit more than probably three feet, or maybe like three, three feet and three inches. So it wasn't, it wasn't enough. So I had to use the other ones that I had. So just FYI on that one. Now, let's go ahead and kind of show you. So like I said, you know, let me bring up this, this picture right here. All right, so here's a picture of my setup, like I said. So the top one is technically PC one. It's like, you know, from my two monitor. So it's like, this is the one that I'm gonna to be toggling between both. Now, if I go right ahead and actually toggle to PC number two, let me go ahead and show you exactly what happens. So we'll toggle it to two, give it a couple of seconds because it does need to kind of like uh, learn, you know, it's like, oh, I changed the display. So let me show you a picture now. So now you can actually see that the top one is basically mirroring what this computer has. I don't, I don't think it's gonna, oh no, wake up. <laughs> So it, it's gonna mirror exactly what what this laptop has. It's like I just mirrored it. That's all I did So let me show you a cool thing now because I have it running through the Elgato capture card. So now oh That's right See, that's why I need to remove this particular one put it back to my main workstation Because I still need a toggle between both and I do not have a stream deck on this setup so once that's connected, I can go and switch scenes to the HDMI. So you can see that I'm controlling this laptop. Of course, it has its own touchpad and everything, but I'm connecting it. You know, or I'm controlling it and I'm able to actually view what I'm doing. So if I wanted to go ahead and, you know, bring up, let's say OBS Studio. And there it is. So we have OBS Studio open. So I could go ahead and basically just, you know, Expand it if I so choose so and you know, I could go right ahead and instead of me like I said earlier in the video instead of me going in the back and switching um, You know from H HDMI um, You know, let's say from my main workstation and then now I I'm like over here trying to basically connect the other one I could just go right ahead and use this particular KVM and actually switch between my, ma my main computer and basically whatever I want to go ahead and connect on the secondary PC slot Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is going to be the end of this video. I really do hope you enjoyed the content. And like always, we will catch you on the next one.